Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today I've got my wife with me. This is Rosie. Hi. Say hi. All right, and uh, why is she here? Because she is much better at driving an electric car than me. So in today's episode, we're gonna teach you how to drive in an economical manner and use as little energy as possible. So she's able to go to work and back and use very little energy as opposed to me, because I got a heavy foot. It's not that she drives slow, right? You don't drive slow. No. Okay. So, but she's good at modulating the throttle and all of that. So we will learn from the best today. So this will be a good thing for you guys to learn because economic driving with an electric vehicle does extend the range. So that's important to know. All right, let's get started. Okay, as you guys can see, we've reset everything on the car itself. So everything is at zero and we will be starting to drive. How long is the drive, Rosie? 20, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, one way, right? Yeah. So 25 minutes there, 25 minutes back, and then we're gonna see the results. On the way there, we're going to film a little bit and she's gonna tell you what she does to actually get that low of a consumption. All right, you ready? Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're on the way now. We are, if you guys are from BC, we are driving from uh, Coquitlam to where? Maple Ridge. Maple Ridge. Maple Ridge, right? So we're gonna do some city, we're going to do some, um, highway driving so a little bit of everything so first we need to get through coquitlam traffic which can be problematic but today is what saturday so it should be okay not too many cars on the road okay uh just so you guys know regen is set on it's set on the third setting you can see it right here so we do have regen on full right yes yes Rosie doesn't talk much. We'll just ask her questions on the way. Oh, there's a nice Tesla. Okay, so we're on the one of the main roads here. And uh, what do you do when you see a red light? So we've got a red light coming up. What do you usually do? Because I release the power earlier. So because it's regen the power. So I don't need to brake so hard. Okay. It's brake by itself. So you just let it regen, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So you just use the one pedal driving, yeah, right? Yeah, just a, a little bit, a little bit power. Okay, and then you come very yeah, close, so it's so... It's so stop by itself, almost. Okay, okay. And I see that you keep your space away from the car in front of you. Why is that? Because that's my personal style of driving. Because oh. I think, I feel like it's safer for me. Safer, okay. And then I think also I have, if anything happens on the road, so it's, uh, I have, more of more time to react okay good all right so you see there's a bit of space but also that gives her the ability of st to start rolling when the light turns green and not having to put yeah. down the power so hard yeah. right that's the most of time when i was i go to work this way. a lot of time i don't actually need to stop at the traffic light because when i arrive there the light is already turning green yeah so now she's just smoothly getting on the power right yes. okay perfect so yeah it's all about consistency when you're driving you know when i drive basically it's just i smash you know the accelerator and i go really fast yeah and you're trying to be a bit more smoother in how you operate the car one of the best things about the kia that it has it has this um, instant meter of how much energy you're using right here so as you guys see, you can see battery care takes up zero kilowatts. Um, electronics, because I'm charging the phone as we're driving, so that takes a little bit. Climate also takes a little bit, and then the drivetrain itself, right? So this is good, a good app to use if you wanna learn how to drive a bit more economically. And how do you find it? All you have to do is click on EV, go to energy information, and then click the battery symbol there, and then you will get into electricity use. So this is very good to use if you guys are learning how to drive an electric car and trying to be economical in doing so. So quick little update. We've been on the road, how many minutes? Seven minutes. Consumption is at 12 point, oh, it dropped down to 11.6. You're good, you're good. <laughs> 11.6 kilowatt hours Yay. per 100 kilometers. It's one of my best ones. <laughs> yeah. That's good, that's good. So again, we're still uh, you know, on the big road here. There is a bit of traffic, um, traffic lights everywhere. So we do have to stop and go, stop and go. 
but there's going to be a bridge after the bridge we're going to be able to stretch a little bit and drive a bit faster so now we're on the low heat highway stretch where there's only one light coming up in pit meadows and then uh, you will enter uh, maple ridge so you stick to the left lane here fast lane right yeah sometimes if too much traffic in the morning so i go into the HOV lane. Yeah, because we have an HOV lane where that guy is, but today is a weekend, so it's okay for him to be there unless he has more than two people in the car. I don't change the lane often. Yeah, but that, that lane is also for uh, electric cars in BC, so you can use it if you are driving an electric car. So again, we're not slowing down, we're driving normally as you would. Okay, so the light is changing to red and we are slowing down very smoothly here, right? So you're letting just the regen braking yeah, do all the work, a, right? Yeah, when do you touch the brake? Almost right here. Okay, I when? Saw. Tell us. Uh, now. Now. Okay, so basically you're coming to almost a complete stop, right? Yeah, now is the... So now you're braking, right? So let's, let's look at uh, what do we have in consumption right now. Right now we're at 12.2 and we've been 13 minutes on the road and we've driven 10 kilometers. Wow, not bad. Not bad, yeah, you're doing well. <laughs> All right, so uh, coming up, we've got another stretch of uh, three lane up into Maple Ridge and then we're gonna hit a bunch of other lights. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, we got green. So again, smooth on the power, right? We're not racing here. Faster, not going. Yeah, so now you're going faster. So as you guys can see, yeah, we're overtaking cars. So we're not, you know, being very slow, like I said. Okay, so Rosie, you've been driving an electric car, this Kia Soul EV now for um, one year, right? Um, so what do you think of electric cars? Do you like them? Yeah, I love it. Why? The most important, I think, is a. Uh, how to say it's uh, not so noisy <laughs> not so noisy <laughs> yeah. okay it's very very quiet when you start in car uh -huh. and then i really love the brake by itself things the brake by itself right yeah, the regenerative I, I, braking yeah, yeah i really like it because uh, uh i it's like kind of like i kind of like i can control the car i feel it so you feel safer yeah i can feel safer yeah that's right because you know that like if there's a problem you can just release yeah uh, you know the the pedal and it will start braking right yeah. and then because sometimes you know like when i join the gas car even you release the gas the car still you feel like going fast very yeah fast. and this one is like you can feel like smooth like, ooh, like that kind of thing yeah but of course you know electric cars can also have that setting right so you, you can turn it off, but it's good to have. Okay, so we're rolling in very slowly again, making sure that it's all smooth, all nice. And there we go, and we've come to a stop. And again, you left some space, right? Yeah. So what, what do you think? Would you go back to driving a, a ice car, like a, like a gas car, or electric all the way? No, if I have a choice, of course, electric. Yeah. First of all, I save the money on gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second of all, I really enjoy the, you know, all the function they give me. Yeah. Yeah. And here's a very nice wrapped Tesla. If you get it. Oh. Traffic light camera ahead. That's another good function of the Kia. It tells you all the traffic lights and, uh, you know, the speed cameras and stuff. So that's also good. There's one coming up. But uh, yeah, I was saying that's a nice Tesla up there. And he's got a nice wrap on it that changes color in the sun. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, halfway turnaround point. Our consumption is 13.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers or 133 watt hours. So basically we're in Tesla Model 3 territory when it comes to efficiency and consumption. 20 minutes driving, 15.2 kilometers. So, this is why you're the queen of uh, driving an electric car, because I could never do that. We're going to drive by some gas stations here. I don't know if you guys can see this. So we've got a Husky coming up, 213 per liter. And then we've got, what is this one? A Chevron as well, with a also 213, five price. And then you're going to have my favorite, which is the Shell coming up here. Rosie, if you can go a little bit faster, then we can pass the. Yeah, third. Uh, yeah, and do, 258 for diesel. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, so we're in Coquitlam right now. Uh, 
Quitlam Center. 400 meters, traffic light, camera ahead. So it is getting a little bit more in terms of traffic, cars everywhere, but our consumption is still pretty good. Again, I'm not gonna tell you until we get to the parking lot where we started. Yeah, we're driving right now into Coquitlam. Lots of traffic here because this is Coquitlam Center. So you've got all the high rises. You've got a shopping mall on this side. You've got another shopping mall on this side. So there's quite a lot of people. Usually that impacts range as well as consumption. Let's see uh, what we will get when we get to the parking lot. And the parking lot is just behind those tall, tall buildings over there. Okay, Rosie, final stretch. We're gonna be turning left after this light and that is the parking lot of the there where we started and then we're gonna look at all the numbers and see how you did are you feeling confident i think so yeah and you better than me definitely okay pull into the parking lot park somewhere so we're not gonna stop recording until you park just so that people know that this has not been staged and We've actually returned to the place where we started. So just park there straight ahead. And then let's see what we have in terms of consumption. Okay, we ready? All right, so we've got 13.7. We've been on the road 44 minutes, 30.4 kilometers. So there you go, 137 watt hours. This is Tesla territory for city driving. So this Kia, which is basically a box on wheels can do the same, pretty amazing. But you gotta have a good driver to do it. Which means, yeah, which is which is which is her. What are your three biggest tips that you want to give people? What's the first one? First one, give give more space between the uh, between your car and then uh, with the the car in front of you. Okay. Second tip. Second tip is uh, you uh, know how I usually know how to uh, release the power. Mm -hmm. Not not like suddenly release, just like smoothly release. Yeah, gradually. Yeah, and also less break. Okay, so use the region more, right? Yeah, using the region more and less break. Okay, yeah. all right. And so don't need to be like how to say. I compare like my driving and his driving is uh, my driving is like a water 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 water. How to say that? Waterfall? Or yeah, no, no waterfall. A river? Uh, yeah, river water flow. Okay, and very you're smooth. Driving, yeah, you're driving like a volcano. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Okay, like volcano driving. Yeah. All right. Okay, anyways, so use those tips because they're good tips. All right. And if you want to see more of Rosie and her EV stuff, so let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more of us doing this kind of stuff, we can obviously. So yeah, that's it, right? So be smooth, use your regen, and just, yeah, she's better than me. All right, guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, make sure to subscribe down below for more videos. And we're gonna do a few more, you know, teaching people how to do EV uh, stuff, you know, because it is a little bit different than driving a nice car. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye.